In the previous video in this series I got as far as getting the RX02 floppy drive system to talk through the RX211 to the PDP. I could transfer data using test programs between the uh, RAM on the PDP and the buffer, the sector buffer on the RX02 in both directions using DMA uh, and I could also uh, successfully run the test programs I'd written to exercise the read sector and write sector functions on the RX02. Um, when I tried to boot the machine from floppy disk it started the process but it failed and that was because I only had 16k of RAM fitted and the image on the uh, disk I have needs more than that. I do have another uh, memory card, it's a 128k card but it was faulty and when I tried to boot using that uh, it got as far as um, reading the first sector and then it stopped at address 600 and it did that every time and uh, I don't really have any technical documentation on that memory card I showed it in the last video and uh, it turned out that there was a, um, a faulty uh, bus driver chip it, one of the control lines going in was uh, constantly stuck high and um, the upshot was that it couldn't properly uh, respond with um, slave sync so it was uh, sometimes it would it, it was kind of borderline sometimes it would work and other times not but the signal level coming out wasn't always being pulled low enough and uh, so it was crashing it just uh, so uh, happens it had a second fault uh, that was causing it to always crash in the same uh, at the same memory address so um, and that was a faulty memory chip and previously the uh, memory board had passed uh, full memory tests and uh, I think the only reason it passed previously is because of the fault it had, uh, the second fault uh, but when I fixed that it started failing a memory test and then I located the memory chip fitted a replacement and uh, now the uh, memory board seems to pass all the tests so the next thing to do is see if it will actually boot now I have 128k of RAM you can see I've got all the cards fitted right into the back plane and none are on risers anymore I still have the logic analyzer on standby just in case and uh, I thought I would uh, we could try this together I haven't tried it yet I thought we'd try it together uh, as you've been patient and uh, sat through a, a lot of uh, videos up to this point I thought you deserve to see uh, what happens uh, good or bad so I'm going to bring the terminal up in the corner of the screen and we'll now try and boot up the uh, PDP. The RX02 is already powered up, you can probably hear it clunking away in the background. Uh, we'll try and power this up, we should see some action on the terminal. So as you can see I've got it set to boot to the console emulator and uh, what I'll do now is put what I believe is a boot disk in. This was sent to me by Dave, so thanks for that Dave. Uh, let's see if it actually works. So the next thing I'm going to do, rather than try and run this from the uh, programmer's console, I'm going to try and run this directly from the uh, terminal and uh, see if it will boot. And as you can see, it is now booted up to RT11. So, uh, big step forward, uh, we can now boot from floppy disk. I don't know if it's going to run properly yet. I haven't tried to use it. As I said, this is the first time I've tried this, so uh, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Um, but it is a big step forward, and what I can do now is start to experiment. But now that I can boot from floppy disk, I can, of course, start running some much more meaningful tests. Uh, I'm going to try booting a few times before I do anything else. This machine's had a habit of working for a short time and then decided it uh, was getting bored and wanted to do something else. So uh, I'll boot it uh, maybe 10 or 12 times, make sure it's fine, let it cool down, come back, do it again. And uh, assuming it survives that, uh, we can move on and start looking at the rest of the machine. I still have the cache memory card to work on. I have the floating point card. And then once they're done, this whole thing can get fitted back into its chassis.
Dave did also send me a disc which I believe has a game on it so in the next video uh, we'll take a break from all these repairs and have a bit of fun and uh, see if we can actually play a game on this thing.